Scott Brown here, it's 3pm, and today's exciting episode has just begun. Trying to find a car park for the evening, and this is really close to where we're going to work. But the height clearance is 1 meter 95. With the roof racks, I'm like 2 meters. This is a constant problem. Today, we are working inside an office, and therefore, we're doing it out of office hours. All right, let's find a car park. This one looks better. 3.8 meters. That one. That one has plenty of space, but apparently open to 11 p.m. I'm sure I'll find a park. Let's just go to the job. I live in there now. <laughs> I'm gonna park right outside here. I think it'll be fine. Gonna lock it first, right? How do you feel working in the city, brother? Fucking awesome, bro. I wouldn't even press the button. Oh, great. What are you doing? We're not very experienced. This is your responsibility. So these sheets are the ones that are going to go on this wall. But first we've got to get them out of our way. So what we're doing today is we're at this uh, office here and the people in this office won a competition. Now that competition was by a company called Plytech. They have this product that we're going to install today and, um, and I'm going to make a video for them and they're going to put it on their website and stuff. We need to put a few battens on the wall first and these aluminium extrusions which has been painted. This product can be installed without the extrusions. This is just a way to hide the MDF edge on the boards. We found our studs, we figured out how we're putting our aluminium on. Slower after that. What about you, Pato? So I should probably talk about what the heck happened to my finger here. I put on my Instagram story today. Um, I basically was holding a saw and a piece of wood, and I walked past a bench. The saw hit the bench, folded up, and cut my finger. It's always the silly accidents that uh, hurt you the most. The reason we're putting all these battens on is the guys who have this office, they don't want to glue the sheets to the wall in case they want to remove them later. So we're just screwing the battens on and gluing to the battens. Now we've just leveled the top one, that's the crucial one, that's where the aluminium's going and where we'll ultimately measure our sheets from. It's going to plan. 400 centers, top to bottom, aluminium along the top, aluminium along the bottom, and Pato's just doing this corner to do the same. And then we can start putting these sheets on. I'm just gonna go check on the vans. Probably fine. 
It's just we're in the city, you know. A lot of people around outside. We're just on a public road, so. Looks good. Look at that wood grain. All right, so each finished face of the sheet is 600 mil wide. We have to divide the wall up evenly, so the first and last sheets are the same. Yeah, let's work that out. Six middle ones that are full width, and then uh, uh, 421 on either end. We're cutting the bottom because the floor's out of level. We've made the top level with our aluminium. This is the glue we're using. We're using glue that can hold because the glue's doing all the work. Like I said, the glue does most of the work, but we're using this Milwaukee stapler here it just shoots regular staples regular staples like that the advantage of having the battery powered is that you don't have to force the stapler against the wall the stapler does the work which is good when you're dealing with this tongue area yeah it's going at a 45 degree angle oh yeah yep i'm good yeah okay there we go spin up All right, two sheets on. Well, this is great, lights off. We're up against it, guys. Not only is that hallway light out, so we're forced to work inside, but probably the most crucial tool for the job is broken. We've tried everything, we've plugged battery charger and other things that need power into there. I and they... It just stopped working when we moved it. And because we're in here now, cutting with no dust extraction. This is how it plugs. I don't know. That's annoying as. Oh. Because we've already made a mess that so we need a vacuum to clean up. Yeah. Uh, and it's not the lead because we plugged that directly in. Yeah. recording for that. I love it how it like starts to work right when I finish all the cuts. I know right? I made the most dust. At least we can clean it up. At least we can clean it up.
Well, overall, Pato, it's been a roaring success. Yeah, uh, hasn't been easy, but working at night, it was never going to be easy. Had a few obstacles on our way. Had a few obstacles, but we overcame them. We just pack all around it, sort of thing. So it wedge it in, yeah. But that looks good there, bud. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How about this? Wedge are in there, mate. Oh, bloody wedge are in there. Another exciting episode, guys. I'm gonna go home and um, sort my finger out, get that back to 100%. And uh, another beautiful feature wall a working vacuum. And there's this, but hey. The vacuum went out again. We just spent the last half hour sweeping. All right, that's enough. All right, see ya. All right. Uh, time to go to bed. <laughs>